Growth through conversation, enriching English and lives together. Hello language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to cover an interesting topic. Encouraging growth and development in each other. This is all about how we can use our daily conversations to inspire, motivate, and learn from each other. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Firstly, let's explore why it's important to encourage growth and development in conversation. When we have conversations, we don't just exchange information. We share experiences, thoughts, and ideas. This exchange can foster learning and personal development. By encouraging growth in our conversations, we can help each other explore new ideas, cultivate interests, and develop skills, including language skills. To encourage growth and development, we need to be active listeners, show empathy, ask probing questions, and share insightful thoughts. Here are some practical ways to do this in English. 1. Active listening. Demonstrate that you're paying attention. Use phrases like, that's interesting, or, I see what you mean. 2. Showing empathy. Show that you understand their feelings or viewpoint. Say things like, that must be tough, or, it sounds like you really enjoyed that. 3. Asking probing questions. Encourage them to think deeper and share more. Ask questions like, what made you choose that? Or, how did you feel when that happened? 4. Sharing insightful thoughts. Offer new perspectives or knowledge. Share thoughts like, have you ever considered? Or, I once read that. Discussing common interests is a good starting point, but conversations can be enriched by exploring new topics. Let's say you're talking about a shared hobby, like photography. To expand the conversation, you could ask, have you ever thought of merging your photography skills with other forms of art, like painting? This encourages them to explore new ideas and may ignite a new passion. Lastly, let's learn some practical English phrases for encouraging growth. 1. To praise effort. You're making great progress. Or, I can see you've worked really hard on this. 2. To motivate. Keep going. You're doing great. Or, don't give up. I believe in you. 3. To suggest learning resources. Have you checked out this book? Or, this website has some great tutorials. Remember, the goal is to support each other's growth and development. This can lead to more enriching conversations and a stronger command of the English language. There you have it. We've learned about the importance of encouraging growth in our conversations and some practical ways to do it in English. Next time you engage in a conversation, try to use these tips and see how it changes the dynamics. Remember, every conversation is an opportunity for learning and growth. Thanks for watching, and keep up your fantastic progress in learning English.